You're listening to today's inspirational message on the Proverbs with Kurt Bjorklund. In Proverbs 19, verses 19 and 20, we read that a man of great wealth will pay the penalty. For if you deliver him, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. And this is really a proverb that teaches this idea that we should rescue sparingly. And again, I think uh, we just referenced this yesterday at the end of the chapter, the idea of the scoffer and the simple and the person of understanding and heeding reproof. All of these ideas come together. So let me just tell you a story. When I was in grade school, the grade school that I attended was on a dead end road and it was surrounded by woods and there was a big field across the parking lot. Rightly, the woods and the field were considered to be out of bounds during recess. But to a few of the fourth grade boys, the lure was too strong. And so we would make a game of sneaking into the woods without detection. Eventually, the dares got bigger. And so it wasn't just to sneak into the woods, but it was to sneak into the woods and then to go out into the field and either crawl or run across the field that was completely visible from the playground without detection. And we had success, and it was a fun little game for a while until one day we were caught. A furious teacher marched us into the principal's office. He promptly gave us a recess detention for the next day. After the teacher left, he proceeded to laugh and joke with us. And when the next day came and we were on our recess detention, he proceeded to play basketball with us during the recess detention. Needless to say, we were not deterred in our quest for the ideal sneaking out of the uh, playground in, uh, in this um, activity of the principal. In a sense, the principal had made our detention and detection a non-issue. He had rescued us. Now, in this instance, you might say, well, he chose wisely rather than making a big deal out of a small deal. But it's also fair to say that we didn't learn any lessons from his actions. He minimized the consequences so that the consequences became irrelevant. And the desire to relieve suffering for people in our lives is often motivated by a strong and a good thing inside of us that wants their good. But sometimes when we do that, we're throwing a mattress in a pit before somebody stumbles into the pit. And by doing that, what we're doing is we're keeping them from learning the hard lessons that they may need to learn. Sometimes the thing that seems like it will be best for your child, your employee, your spouse, the chronically needy person or your coworker may be the worst thing for them. When you rescue them from their natural consequences of their own wrath or irresponsibility, you may shortcut the process of learning through hard knocks. The hothead, it, it has been said, must be corrected by allowing the consequences of his own foibles to punish him. That's Bruce Wolke. And this is especially prevalent in parents and in spouses. If you find yourself rescuing, you will do well to step back and ask yourself if you have been unintentionally contributing to poor choices. You need to ask if you're acting out of codependence. If your adult child chooses not to work and you rescue them by helping them out uh, to buy things that they wouldn't be able to afford otherwise, you are throwing a mattress in a pit. Now, certainly Jesus rescues sinners, but he doesn't do it by minimizing or removing consequences, but by taking the consequences. But the gospel is rooted in facing the consequences of our sin and in our need for a savior. And so sometimes the wisest thing we can do in the life of other people, kids, spouses, co-workers, is to let the consequences have their work in their life rather than rushing in to rescue them from their poor choices. Because Proverbs says, if you rescue a fool, you'll just have to do it again and again. The scoffer will not learn unless you let them experience the pain of the choices that they are making. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day.